Hello everyone, uh, this is Mohammed Babini from Coda World and today we're going to talk about Panorama Pages in Windows 8 application, Windows Phone 8 applications, sorry. So here we start from Blend and we choose our project, here we go. Um, we can either choose it from template or we can add it in the tools or assets. So we're going to choose a template. So let's call it some um, panorama. And um, we're going to work on C sharp and version 8. We wait for the project to be loaded. Here we get it. Um, this is the layout route, it has the panorama and its own items. Well, a lot of you don't and doesn't a lot of you like they don't know what panorama page means. Uh, so I'll show you as you see uh, here you have Panorama page is about some panorama panels and the visible screen area on your phone. You can swipe between the panels and choose the visible panel that will show. So it's a, it's like um, the mini design of Windows 8 applied on Windows Phone 8. So let's go back and uh, Let's remove the items and here we get the panorama and let's create it again from the assets when we go to controls all so where is panorama here here we go this is panorama we drag it And here we go. So this is a panorama, and the items will come with it when you drag, when you add it by drag, hold and drag. So let's move the items and check the panorama structure by properties. Um, we have the background. You can either put no brush or choose a color here also and we can or we can add a picture from image source and here we choose twin brush resources so let's put a picture like a background I mean like this background such light and peaceful one and we won't add board brush um for the flow direction we have right to left left to right it also helps in languages if you want to make an in some languages like they start from right to left like arabic language uh for font family if we try to change the font it won't change um why because font family and font size you can change them by styles as for styles, we're going to talk about it in another video, so we'll ignore them for now. We can, I think here we can, for font style, we can choose italic or normal, and here. So generally, generally, if you, for professionals who work on applications, they don't edit this, they just put their style and the style would take care of the old font settings so let's skip this now we can here choose the height of the bag of the panorama so we're going make it 800 the alignment also so for now we don't need to change anything here but just the title, we might choose sample 
application. And here we see. Um, a panorama doesn't work without panorama items. There is no use for it. So we add a panorama item by here, right click, by right clicking here, the, the item, or by drag and drop here. So let's, uh, let's add it by right click here. And here is the item. The item comes with grid, so you can't put anything inside it. So let's name it. Um, for example, we're going to add photos in this panorama item. So let's call it photos. I'm sorry. Here we go. Can we change the font? The font? Yes, we can. As we mentioned, it's better to choose a style for this because it's related to the design of the whole app. You won't have different styles for each panorama item header, so it's better to be wise with adding the styles. Um, so let's for now, um, there are two ways to make the panorama item. You can make it for orientation, you can make it vertical or horizontal. Let's try the horizontal because no one tried it before. I think um, it comes with the sample actually, one one horizontal uh, item, an orientation. So we made it horizontal here. Let's try to see how we can make it. So. For example, let's add some little grid from here. So mm, we can add more. And supposedly it must go like this. And for sure we're going to change the background color to make it visible. So let's do just sweet color. Um, as we expect, like uh, we expect it to extend when we swipe it. So let's add another panorama item to see if it's going really to do this or not. So here we build the project. Mm. So here it works. Let's see what will happen now. Here we go. Oh, so it's not working properly. There is some conflict. Okay, let's see why. Here we see the grid, the container of this small backgrounds, small images, it's not extended with them. So how do we expect the grids to be shown as, you know, in the horizontal orientation? So we need to extend it. Let's see to any limit, for example. Let's see here. Here we go. So it's working. So this is the horizontal orientation. I think if you move it a bit. Um okay, um for the second item, 
we can add any text. So let's test how we can add in here, for example, text block. Where's here we go. So you can add a text block. But we have to take care of something. We have to add it inside the grid. It would be better because the panorama item accepts only one tool under it as parent I mean as child of it so so um, let's write anything for example this is a text for item So we can add it, we can change the font size, we can see, we can do a lot of things in each panorama item. So we can add text boxes, we can add text blocks, we can add, we can make the data binding and we can add a lot of things, we can add progress bar. We have a variety of tools that we can add inside every item. So it's kind of like this. Let's try to compile it. Here we go. This is text for item 2. I know it looks kind of messed up, but this is just an example. So I think now you have some idea about how working on panorama how you can work on panorama pages in Windows Phone 8 applications thank you very much for watching us